Welcome. This is day 41 of 100 Symptoms. I am Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic. Mannerism refers to expressive manners of behavior, including exaggerated emotional display and sudden movements. Sometimes this includes agitation and grimacing without apparent reason. Catatonic schizophrenia includes symptoms of expression and display of behaviors where the patient seems in some way unaware, less than fully conscious, or automatic. In my own lived experience and select observations, symptoms of catatonia often appear more severely and or apparently in hospital settings. I think as medication and treatment are getting better, Fewer patients remain with catatonic symptoms in long-term hospitalization. Notably though, during the shorter stays, which are increasingly more average, catatonic symptoms do indeed still present themselves. And also sometimes they do persist outside of hospital, but perhaps more so in early stages of adjustment and recovery. I have exhibited mannerism at some points and observed it in other people with schizophrenic and schizoaffective diagnosis. Mannerism is one of the more animated catatonic states, where some of the others, like stupor, appear more as quiet, rigid posture. One example of mannerism is called stereotypy, which refers to repetitive movement with no obvious reason. I remember at some points, usually of distress, where I would repeatedly utter a phrase, which is echolalia, as well as repeat a physical gesture again and again, which is stereotypy. I recently witnessed a young person who had been recently diagnosed, who is still quite troubled by persistent delusions, who might sometimes freeze up with a grimace locking on his face, perhaps to growl or to wave some repetitive gesture. That's the kind of behavior that mannerism is. Sometimes it's more subtle than that like display, but <laughs> this was day 41 of 100 symptoms. I am Ned Ned Nerb, the schizophrenic. If this has been interesting to you, please like and comment below. If you share this video, you'll help me reach a wider audience contributing to raising awareness about these conditions. Help me to reduce the stigma around mental illness and suffering caused by schizophrenia and psychotic disorders. Thanks.